Good evening. It is uh, week one of the uh, Pool Speedway Burger reviews. Um, we are heading to the third and fourth turn now to a place we like to call whole family. Uh, place that we like to call uh, what, what did Ben say? Third and fourth Ben Grill. Yeah, that, yeah. Whoa! Look at that. Crazy. Some. Yeah, there's another one up there. Let's not get. Don't get taken out by them. They're very much. Right. So, uh, first impressions, you do have to watch out for your life. Um, don't get taken out by the flailing, crazy, inflatable tube people. Right, here it is. Let's uh, flip the camera around. Where have my things gone? How do I flip the camera around? Anyway, so this is the one we're at, okay? Um, we're going to get cheeseburger and chips and we're going to do a review and uh, yeah others all around the stadium uh, we will do in the coming weeks so uh, next time you see us it will be time to look at the burger here we go six pound seventy for a cheeseburger and chips at the uh, third don't and fourth bend killed. place yeah don't, don't get killed is an important message um, so we're going to be looking at the uh, looking at the consistency the flavor the condiments available and all that stuff really soon so here we go, the uh, cheeseburger and chips from the third bend, uh, third and fourth bend. Um, we've got a little portion of chips there, six pound seventy, did I say it was? Um, so yeah, this is the sort of portion size you can expect to get. I like the artistry here on the bun. Look at that. It's not your straightforward bun. Uh, let's open it up here. I mean, it looks all right actually. It's, it's quite juicy. It's not. Uh, it is freshly cooked which is nice. Buns are toasted as well. Nice quantity of cheese. Um, we'll come back to you in a minute with a taste review on uh, what we think from the third and fourth Ben Grill. So there we go. Look at that. Uh, that's a pretty good burger. The chips as well aren't that bad. Mm. There you go. Apologies for eating while I'm recording, but yeah, not bad. From the third, third and fourth Ben Grill, um, you know, it's nice and juicy, which is the important thing about a burger. The bun's lightly toasted, amazing. So, uh, yeah, uh, good quality burger. I'm happy with it. And uh, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Uh, the, the cost, obviously, £6.70. We're going to compare that to other uh, other burgers around the track. But, yeah, £6.70 is, is a bit steep, but good quality burger. I'm a fan. Here we go, week two of uh, where can you get the best cheeseburger at Pool Stadium. Last week we went there and uh, I think we gave that one an eight out of 10. So this week we're going to the glass stand, the glass grandstand, the grill, just down there, bottom floor, uh, right in the middle. Wow, it's sunny, look at that. Um, Pirates taking on Leicester this evening, if the rain holds out, which we should be okay with. But yeah, we're going to uh, going to go and see what the prices are, what the quality of the food is. I've been here before for burger and chips. It's not been great, I'll be honest. So, but we have to be objective. We have to do all of the different options. So we're going to check it out and uh, be back to you later with what the price is like, what the quality is like, all that good stuff. So there we go. Next one purchased from the glass grandstand over there. Uh, cheeseburger and chips number two. Uh, same price, £6.70 for our cheeseburger and chips. Uh, service not so great, big waiting time. Um, the guy is literally doing one order at a time, so not really as efficient as the other place. So you will end up waiting longer if you go there. Um, I've got an idea on the quality already, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, but yeah. Whoa, Really got taken out by the crazy flailing inflatable tube man. Um, anyway, yeah, it's gonna be cheeseburger time in a minute. We'll come back to you in a minute. There we go, from the glass grandstand, here is La Burger. Uh, cheeseburger there. Now, interestingly enough here, consistency wise, this has been reheated. Unbelievable. Uh, reheated, not cooked fresh, uh, which is gonna be the main problem, I think. They've cooked up a, a batch of burgers beforehand and then they just reheat them so for the same price you can get one from that one over there exactly the same price they will probably be better but we'll talk you through the uh, taste test in just a minute so there we go burger from the <laughs> just in the middle of cheeseburger review number two don't make my chips Uh, we haven't even touched it. Chips are right. Yeah, chips are right. Uh, burger, 
Uh, yeah, so as we said, they were a little bit, um, a lot drier than the one from over there because it is recooked. Um, I'm going to give this one a solid 6 out of 10. Um, is that less than last week? Yeah, much less than last week. Really? Yeah, yeah, that one over there. 8 out of is, 10. It's much nicer. 8 out of 10 for that one. Okay. Oh, I thought you did the grandstand grow last week. No, no, no. We did the third and fourth last week. This week is there. And then next week's, or not next week's, week, oh, week is the first bend. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's behind the wall. Gotcha. Anyway, so there we go. Um, 6 out of 10 for this one, but the same price as bend 3 and 4. Now, the next one we're going to do is the grand finale, which is the first bend burger thing stuff of legend it's going to be good uh tune in live not live but we'll record it live bye <laughs> another sunny week at Wimborne road and it is time for round three of the paul speedway uh cheeseburger challenge i like that pirate cast cheeseburger challenge yeah. uh we are now heading to uh bend number one the gourmet grill uh, we've done the other two food outlets in the place uh, over the last couple of weeks now it's time to see uh how the gourmet grill holds up now controversially about this place doesn't do chips as far as i understand it yeah. so we'll uh we'll find out what they do and uh, we'll be back to you shortly so here we go the moment of truth burger number three from the gourmet grill on uh bend one um nice and freshly cooked as well is your traditional burger van um burger really nice with the plus of uh, cooked onions as well fried onions on there uh, nice bit of cheese burger looks nice and juicy um, how much was it five quid yep. for a cheeseburger so that's pretty good so um, difficult to work it out because it was uh, what six pound forty did we say yeah. six pound thirty over over there and over there for a burger and chips so it's difficult to work out the pricing because they only do uh, burgers they don't do chips over there well, they don't only do burgers but you know they don't do chips um so next thing is the taste test so we'll come back to you in a sec with a review on the taste so there we go halfway through the burger from gourmet grill taste wise it's really nice it is really good um still not quite as juicy as i remember them being from uh, from that place uh, in years gone by but still a very nice burger and i'm gonna give this one an 8.5 which just just hits the uh, third and fourth bend um, outlet for the winner so gourmet grill on bend one still got a bit of work to do still could do with it being a little bit juicier but um, yeah, definitely the best burger at Full Speedway is the cheeseburger from Gourmet Grill.